Honey Nut Cheerios. What does this have to do with making concrete? Nothing, I don't think. This was gonna be my breakfast. But then I ate uh, hash browns instead, and I got too full, and now I don't want these Cheerios anymore. Plus, it was end of the end of the box, and I was like, oh, should I should I eat these Cheerios? Hey everybody, this is Mr. Concrete Concrete, and welcome back to the Joy of Concrete, or whatever we want to call this show. I think it might be breaking up into different segments. Today's segment is a new one called Will It Concrete? Yes, this is a parody of lots of other YouTube channels things of will it, will it, will it? But why not? Will it concrete? Let's find out. I've got about 700 grams, 700 grams, 700 grams of gray matter mixed with a little bit of white and a little bit of black pigments. That was a close to about I don't know what to say, 90 milliliters of water. I'm mixing in a bucket. We might, we might mix. I'm going to mix in the bucket because I think this is going to be a little bit of a wet mix. We don't have to, do we? Will it concrete? Will it concrete? We'll find out. So why did I put a little bit of white and a little bit of black in this concrete? Well, just because I wanted, I wanted to have a, a color. I wanted it to be kind of a slaty, a gray. I wanted a type, a type of gray. And so I needed, I needed some pigment to do so. Because without pigment, Concrete initially starts off as a, an almost tan, a fairly warm gray. And depending on a few other factors, it can sometimes almost look green in a way. A green tan color. And I, don't, I don't want that. Not at all. Plus, I want to have a little bit of contrast. Show some contrast with the... Uh, Cheerios. Do it on the table? Let's try. Whatever. We can always throw it, throw it back in the bucket if this little doesn't do what we want. Let's put it on the table. There's our nice dark concrete. So will it concrete? There's our Cheerios. Will it concrete? Uh, I don't know. I have my doubts. I have my doubts, but I'd say one of the best ways to learn something is to just do it. Do it. You can watch YouTube videos too. That's a way to learn something as well. But I'm being kind of gentle. I don't want to crush these Cheerios. I want to keep them intact. All right. Those seem to, they're in there. Will it concrete? Maybe. My answer is maybe. There's the rest of my Cheerios. I'm going to fold these in. Oh my goodness. This is silly. What's the last silly thing you did? Was it mix your old Cheerios into a bunch of concrete? So actually, hmm, I was gonna do the big planter mold, but when I look at this amount, I don't think it's enough. If I pour a partial into the big planter mold, uh, maybe I should do the small one here. Let's. I wasn't really sure how to pre measure. Is that going to be enough? Uh, no. No, it is not. So, you know what? Let's go small planter. And then 
small planter, and then the rest will just be a test section. Sorry, big planter. Should have. I needed more Cheerios. Uh, all right. I think those are those are in there enough. Heard a small planter mold. Dump some of our Cheerio mixture in there, and just the same as always. Tap it out. Now, Cheerios are going to affect our flow properties a little bit, I think. I don't think this is going to help. It's quite the same. <sighs> yeah, this is not going to self-level the way you're maybe used to. So the first thing we've learned is that Cheerios may have an effect on the self-consolidating, self-consolidating, self-compacting, you know what, in layman's terms, self-leveling, the self-leveling properties of gray matter. That whole deal where we can make beautifully smooth bottoms with not really having to do a lot of grinding. Grinding is messy work. You do not want to have to grind concrete if you don't have to. Let the concrete do the work for you. I'm going to pull a little bit more out. But this is going to be a lumpy, bumpy bottom. And I try to make it as smooth as we can. I can also see that the Cheerios are kind of big. And they're deforming my mold just a little bit. If I force them down, they push apart the sidewall. That's why I wanted to use the bigger mold. I knew this smaller mold who put an aggregate that's larger than the thickness, the sidewall of the object itself, that aggregate is going to deform your sidewall. So you never want to have aggregate larger than your tightest tolerance within a mold. That'll, that'll make a, it's going to make, give you an issue. So I haven't seen one air bubble come out of this. So this is going to have some air bubbles. I'm tired of tapping. This is done. Will it concrete? I don't know. Let's, let's make our pile of Cheerios look somewhat picture, picturesque. The first thing, I don't want any raw Cheerio showing, if I can avoid it. This actually has a smell. It's got a bit of a... Hmm. It's got a bit of a smell. It's got a funk. Definitely smells a little bit like Cheerios. I want to maybe a, a longer. I want something I can actually put a little bit of force into. I'm going to make this a little bit long. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. Tell me what you're thinking. What does this look like? We're going to make this. We're going to lengthen it out because I want to be able to give it a little bit of a strength test. Strength. So I'm just going to shape this into something that can have strength applied to it. Shaping it out. Rolling out the, the log. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Will it concrete? This is Cheerios. Cheerio and concrete log. Cheerio and concrete log. Cheerio and concrete log. Will it concrete? I hope so. Find out uh, later. Later today, we'll find out. Catch you on the cured side. That could be a catchphrase. Is that a cool catchphrase? Catch you on the cured side. Hey, Concrete fans, we are back. This has had some time to cure. Will it concrete? Cheerio concrete. I, I see some things. Let's talk about the things I see. So I see some Cheerios, but have got some interesting gaps around them. Oh, and this one is falling out. So I think the Cheerio, and it's pretty squishy, 
So what looks like has happened is the Cheerio has absorbed water and has uh, shrunk as the concrete is cured. So the concrete around it is cured. The Cheerios are shrinked. So will it concrete? Kind of. <laughs> it's it's solid-ish. We we're not going to do a strength test right this minute because this is still pretty fresh. All these Cheerios are soft and squishy, but it yeah, it feels solid. Look at that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice Cheerio test log. Let's put this aside for now. Let's put that aside. Will it concrete? I have a feeling we're going to see some gaps, some Cheerio gaps. But let's see. All right. So right off the bat, Mm, you know what? Parts of the concrete are pretty firm. And so we got some voids, Cheerio voids. Oh, and it smells. It smells like um, wet cake batter, like a Like a box cake, like a uh, one of those Betty Crocker wet cake. When you when you mix it wet, there's a smell of like a was a wheat bread cakey flour smell mixed with something that's very kind of like a um, like baking soda. <laughs> smells like baking soda cake batter. You know what I'm talking about? Any bakers out there? Anyway, weird smell. Squishy, squishy Cheerios, um, but will it concrete? Uh, kind of, I would say yes. We're gonna do a strength test when this cure settles up a little bit more and is a, bit, a little bit stronger, but it concreted, you could make something. It's gonna look a little weird, but Cheerios, will it concrete? Yes, it will. I'm gonna say yes, will it concrete? You can say below in the comments if you think this was a success or not, but, uh, I think so. Will it concrete? Yeah. Cheerios. Cheerios. You can make concrete out of Cheerios. Brilliant. Hope you had fun. Thanks everyone for tuning in to another episode or at least the first episode of Will It Concrete with Mr. Concrete Concrete. This is Gray Matter mixed with Cheerios. Catch you on the flip side. Is there a flip side? Just catch you. Catch you later. I'm going to get really regular with videos and I'm going to talk to you in comments. You're going to say things that you feel and we'll... Uh, We'll have fun making concrete art together. Bye, everybody.